Yeah, I want to talk about Miguel Cotto versus Sergio Martinez. This is the fight they've been talking about now for about almost half a year. When I, I've been reading, it's not official yet, but it's pretty much ready to go. It's going to be at the middleweight division. Cotto wants a middleweight title. There might be a small catch weight with a no rehydration limit. Um, nothing but respect for Cotto for jumping up in weight and taking on one of the elite fighters in the sport. Um, let's talk about their recent fights. First, we had uh, Martinez. His last fight, he a lot of people felt he lost. I, I felt he won, but barely won. And I do agree with a lot of people that he, he didn't look very good in this fight. Um, his age is starting to show. But a lot of it has to do with the way Murray was fighting. Murray and even Barker, as I said before, they picked up the... The Claudie defense, and when I say Claudie, I mean Joshua Claudie, how he fight he fought Pacquiao, where they just he just blocks up the middle. Because a lot of these in and out fighters like Pacquiao and Martinez like to throw a lot of pop shots. They like to throw punches up the middle. And uh what they do is they just block the middle. Like this, you know, and then they wait because they know you're gonna throw mostly um straight punches, so they're just blocking up the middle of the straight punches. Um However, Murray did do a good job of throwing counters after that. After Martinez would unload, he would throw counters. Same with Barker. Claudie just didn't do anything. He just blocked. <laughs> but, um, yeah, uh, so he did look horrible in that fight. That That's one. That is one maneuver. That might be like a plan C or something for Cotto. You know, to just block up the middle if he gets if he's in danger or something later in the fight. Um, Martinez hasn't lost since Paul Williams. I, however, I felt he won that fight. He did get a draw against Cameron Cintron. I felt it was a robbery. Uh, Martinez deserved that win. He actually knocked Cintron out for a little bit in that fight. Um, and before that, he had lost to Margarito years ago. So he basically he only has two losses. I believe it's only two losses. Um, Something they have in common. Cotto also lost to Margarito. Um, but we all know Margarito's been caught cheating. He got caught by Mosley's team, Nassim Richardson. And I'm I'm pretty sure he didn't just wake up that morning and decide, today's the day I'm going to cheat. No, I'm pretty sure he cheated earlier in the career too. Um, Cotto. Cotto won his last fight. He looked amazing. He has, he's with Roach now. You could just see he's in better shape. His lower torso, his lower torso, you could just see the muscles in his stomach, you know, his his lower body. He looks like Pacquiao, how Pacquiao looks down there. So, obviously, Roach has him doing the same exercises that he has Pacquiao doing. He looked amazing. Um, before that, he had fought Mayweather, or before that, he had fought Austin Trout. He had trouble with the height of Austin Trout. Uh, that's one of the reasons I did pick Delvin Rodriguez to beat Cotto because Cotto had not been looking so good, especially against Trout because of the height difference, you know. So I I was giving uh, Delvin Rodriguez the benefit of the doubt, thinking he could uh, pull off an upset, but I had no idea Cotto would come in looking that amazing. He did. Um, he didn't look so good against Austin Trout because of the height advantage. Um, however, Sergio Martinez does have a 3 like a three inch height advantage and a half a foot in arm reach advantage, but he doesn't fight like a tall fighter. He's an in and out fighter. He likes to jump in, punch, jump out. So that's not that big of a I mean it is a big deal, but it's it's not something um to look too deep into. Um he Cotto also fought Mayweather before that. I gave I gave Cotto, even though I felt Mayweather easily won, I also but I did give Cotto five rounds. Um, a lot of people would disagree with that, uh, but however, there are there are a lot of people who gave did give Cotto five rounds in that fight. I might have went a little overboard. Um, I don't know if I was making videos back then, but I think I gave a uh, I gave one one round a draw and six rounds to uh, Mayweather. Um, it was a lot closer than I thought it was going to be. Um, Cotto did look good in that fight. Uh, he didn't look, well, 
he looked good against an amazing fighter. Um, Cotto's an excellent fighter. He's had nothing but a long list of his uh, nothing but class A and elite fighters on his uh, resume. Now, power wise, I'm gonna have to give the advantage to Martinez. Speed, I'm gonna have to give it to uh, Martinez. All around boxing technique, they're both good boxers. Um, two totally different styles. Um, Cotto, however, he's he used to be. He has a totally different style now with Roach. Uh, Roach has him doing something different now. I actually I like Cotto when he has a little defense in there. When he, he I like it when he jumps from side to side. I like that little move he does. But uh, Roach wants him to move forward and beat up people like he used to in the old days. I guess from what I've read. Um, the thing is, Martinez thrives on people chasing him down. He likes for people to try to chase him down. You know, he likes to be the guy. On the back foot. That's how he likes to fight. Um, that might not work so good against Martinez. Um, I just think there's just too much of a size advantage in favor of Martinez in this fight. Um, power advantage is definitely going in Martinez. I don't think not even Pacquiao hits as hard as Martinez. Uh, I think Martinez ends up knocking Cotto out in this one. As, as amazing as he looked, I don't think there's enough that Roach can teach him or get him ready for this fight. Um, I think it's going to end in an early knockout. And Cotto has a good chin. Most of it, the fights that he did get stopped in, there was on, he was real cut up. His face was cut up. He didn't get knocked out cold. I think this will be one of these fights, his first fight ever, where he gets knocked out unconscious. 